This is week 46. We're going to talk about business valuation. So two parts uh, in this particular week when we've got a second part following up the business valuation. That's going to be a little bit later uh, in the course. But today we're going to talk about the overview of business valuation and then get into how to value your business. So the overview. Um, plain and simple, there's a fair market value for everything, but that only means it's worth what somebody is willing to pay for it. So what you think your business is worth um, might not be what people are willing to pay for it. Uh, and that could be a good or a bad thing. It depends. But um, there's a lot of factors that you need to consider when valuing your business. So physical things are easy when it comes to measuring that. So that's your buildings, your equipment, your inventory, uh, cash accounts. Um, these have some sort of resale value, uh, the equipment, your inventory, et cetera. Um, but not everything might have the same value that you think it does. So for instance, your inventory, let's say that you have a, uh, you know, you create candles. I don't know why, but that's the example I always use. Um, you've got the machines to create the candles. You've got the processes and everything like set to go. And you've got a lot of the raw materials, but your actual inventory, the stuff that you've already made that you haven't sold yet, that might be technically worthless to somebody else if they are buying just your equipment because they want to expand their own candle brand, whatever it is. So just think about that. Just because it me it has value to you doesn't mean that it's going to have value to anybody um, who you're selling to. Um, consider certain things, uh, definitely the intangibles. So your brand is worth some sort of money. Uh, some it's, it's got value. Your patents, uh, your uh, intellectual property, all that stuff has value. But again, it's hard, like that's really hard to value because you can't put a brand on the market and say, you know, and, and figure out what people are willing to pay for it. So that's going to be a part of the negotiations and part of what you're going to hire somebody to do for you, which is uh, like the actual valuation. Um, consider your people and what, do, like what your team brings to the table. So uh, if they're staying, if you're selling your business, let's say, um, you know, to a new owner and, and they're going to come in, uh, what are they bringing to the table? That's got some value. It might be weird to say that we're selling people. We're not really selling to people, but we are selling their know-how, their knowledge, their experience. And if they're staying with the business post uh, close, um, that needs to be considered as well, because you spent money training these people. You spent money um, building that, that team and that should be considered as well. Um, Unfortunately, your business probably isn't worth what you think it really is. So your blood, sweat, tears aren't really worth much. Nobody cares about that. Uh, revenue is great, but it might not mean that much in terms of um, what uh, what you could sell your business for. Profitability is much better, but that also only goes so far because you want to look at the uh, return on investment for that purchase. And if you know, let's say you uh, you know you have a hundred thousand dollars in profitability annually. If you were to try and sell your business for, let's say, five hundred thousand um, dollars, you know that's five years that somebody's going to have to work in that business to get their money back, and that's just to break even. Um, so that's why uh, I said that your business probably isn't worth what you think it is because you probably think it's a lot. It's worth a lot more than than what it really is. Um, lastly, why should you perform a business valuation? So. Uh, uh, if you're planning on exiting your business, uh, selling, mergers, acquisitions, that type of stuff, um, business loans is a good is a good one because if you want to take money out and you want to leverage your business, you need to know what it's worth. And uh, business loans, bank loans, that types of stuff, um, they're they're only going to really care about certain things. So, for instance, if, let's go back to the candle company. Um, your equipment can be resold. Your inventory probably cannot. So if a bank is looking at your business and leveraging parts of your business, they're going to look at the stuff that they could resell. If you happen to default on that loan, um, that would be equipment, stuff like that, that's got a, a pretty good uh, market value already. Um, again, anything that's got your business's name on it is pretty much worthless to them, especially if you go out of business. Um, but ultimately, this is just going to be a scenario where, you, where a person gives you their fair value and the person, um, you they give you what they think your business is worth. You give them what you think your business is worth, and then you negotiate somewhere in between. So if you get, um, you should definitely hire somebody when it comes to this part. Like if you're selling your business, get somebody, they're going to probably give you a more favorable number. The number that the buyer is going to give you is probably less favorable. You're going to meet somewhere in the middle, um, you know, unless you're sitting on a gold mine, in which case, uh, that, that's, a, that's a different subject altogether. So that's it for the first part of business valuation. Part two is going to be next. Um, and we're going to talk about how to value your business.